How do you define success? Is it about your professional achievements? Uh, is it about the strength of your relationships uh, with your family and your community? Is it about the impact you have on the world and the world you leave to your children and your children's children? When it comes to investing, uh, we're all in this room because we believe that success purely measured by financial performance is not good enough. We believe in thinking about the greater good and not just thinking about private benefit. Uh, we believe in thinking about a responsibility uh, to the communities and to the planet, and not just about a responsibility to oneself. And we think about investing for the future, not just investing for the moment. And when I look back on the past 10 years, uh, and when I think about that time when I first met Matthew, when he was working on that story in 2009, uh, which came out the day that the gin launched, so I remember it vividly, uh, it's amazing how far impact investing has come. More capital is being placed into impact investments than ever before. More investors from around the world, large and small, uh, active on six continents, are entering this market every week. And more capital is being put into businesses uh, that are having an impact and, uh, and generating social and environmental progress where it is sorely needed. And it's an amazing amount of progress in such a short period of time, and it's a real testament to all the work that people in this room have done and our peers around the world uh, to help build this market to the point where it is today. And it is tempting uh, to see all this progress and to declare victory. Uh, and it's tempting to think about this, um, all, you know, all the growth, and think that that in itself is triumph. Um, but when you look at the bigger picture, I think that there's also a different story to be told. You know, when we think about climate change, despite all the momentum, all the energy, and all the progress that's being made, uh, not a single industrialized nation is on track to meet its targets for the Paris Climate Accords. So not any of the countries in the European Union, uh, not, the, uh, not Canada, not Australia or China, and certainly not the United States. Um, at the current pace, the world will warm in excess of the two degrees Celsius threshold that has been set. And when we think about inequality, it's more pronounced than ever before in many parts of the world. And it's bringing deep social and political divisions that are having a profound effect on the global economy. Uh, countries uh, that just a few years ago were the bedrock of stability are now seen as sources of uncertainty. And as a result, uh, we're seeing dramatic shifts in the geopolitical landscape that we never would have imagined just five years ago. And on top of that, uh, as of a few months ago, $9 trillion uh, was invested in negatively yielding debt instruments. You see, these are sophisticated investors, um, fiduciaries, managing capital on behalf of others, the consummate rational actors, who are put, essentially locking in a loss from the outset because of the investment landscape that they're looking at. And just think about the impact a fraction of that money could have on the world. Uh, and even when we think about something as fundamental as trust, uh, we're seeing a significant erosion. Uh, so the PR firm Edelman comes out with a trust barometer every year. Uh, they just released the 2018 trust barometer last month and found that in two-thirds of the nation surveyed, there was widespread distrust in government, in business, as well as in the media. So the current system uh, is not sufficiently serving the planet, uh, it's not serving the people, and it's not serving investors well enough. And this isn't just about abstract kind of macro trends. Uh, I think it really lands on this question about you know, what is the future that we are creating? Uh, and it's important to all of us professionally, and it's also important personally. Um, you know, when I think about the world we are leaving to future generations, uh, it's taken on a different meaning for me. Uh, you know, last year, my wife and I um, brought our daughter Ayla into the world. Um, and I find myself thinking about what every other parent I assume is thinking about, um, and what is the future going to look like for her? Five years from now, 10 years from now, 25, 50 years. Uh, and I have to be honest, I am concerned. So what use is the success of impact investing uh, if the broader system 
as actually failing the global community. I believe that impact investors uh, can play a, a leadership role in creating a new path. I believe that if we widen our definition of success and ampli amplify our spheres of influence, we can expand the potential of this movement. So we need to think beyond deals and definitions. Uh, it's not just about unlocking more capital for impact, but it's also how we can have an impact on investing itself. Uh, in doing so, I believe that we can reshape the financial markets for a brighter future. Um, I believe we can build a world where investors consider social and environmental impact, where it becomes the new normal, not just something that's exceptional and marginal. Um, I also believe that we can build a world where companies consider the needs of their customers, their employees, uh, their communities and the planet, alongside the interests of shareholders. And it isn't just about um, the way that the financial markets would operate or the way that businesses would operate, uh, but it's also about the progress that this would all generate. You know, I, I think we need a world where children born today can count on the ability to drink clean water uh, and breathe clean air tomorrow. Um, you know, where, there, um, where equality and access to opportunity is seen as a given um, and the path to prosperity is not predetermined by the zip code in which you were born in. So this is the shared future we want for all of our children uh, that we so urgently need. I think impact investors have underestimated the role that we can play in creating that future. I worry that we aren't thinking big enough. Um, I do believe that impact investing is laying the groundwork for this future. We're proving the model, we're innovating approaches, um, and we're developing the infrastructure for a new era of investing, one that moves beyond financial performance. And regardless of whether you've been making impact investments for decades, as many people in this room have been, or whether you're new to this, if you're here in this room, uh, you are the pioneers uh, for the future of the financial markets. Uh, and together, we have the power to wield tremendous influence over the way those markets develop. And to fuel the market's evolution, uh, the GIN has undertaken a, a major project, our market roadmap. Uh, it's a sweeping plan uh, that will look at the, the um, specific strategies that we can undertake to advance the development of impact investing. Uh, it's informed by over 450 stakeholders, um, and that includes investors from all around the world, as well as many people here present today. Um, and when we release it in a few weeks, um, it will contain um, a series of actions that can not only uh, you know, accelerate the development of impact investing, but can also amplify our influence over how the, the broader system operates. When you read this roadmap, um, our hope, my hope, is that you'll see a role for you and your organization, and then you will join us in building this brighter future. If there's a single idea that I hope you carry away with you when you leave today, it is this. This is the moment for us to redefine our collective success. Uh, the problems the world faces are very powerful, they're very real, and they're very urgent. Uh, and the decisions that we make today have the power to shift attitudes, uh, to transform systems, uh, and to accelerate progress. So I believe that we will only realize the full potential of impact investing when we recognize the power that we can wield to reshape financial markets and to have a sy systemic impact. So that, to me, uh, is success for impact investing.